this next one. It's a balloon problem. A spherical balloon has a surface area of 16 square inches. Find the volume. Okay, so we're starting with the area. We're working backwards. We have to get the radius, and then we have to go forward and find the volume. So this is a backwards-forward problem because we're given the area, and we got to work back, and then we work forward. Okay, so we're given surface area. So let's write down our formula. The surface area equals 4 pi r squared. We know that surface area is 16, so I'm going to plug in a 16 right here and bring the rest down. So all I did was plug in my surface area. So now I have to solve for r. So what's my first step? Divide by 4. I need to get rid of that, so that's kind of nice. I got 4 equals pi r squared. So my area of the great circle is 4, but we don't want to know that. We want to know the radius, so we have to keep going. So let's divide by pi. So I'm going to take 4 divided by pi. 4 divided by second function. Okay, and that gives me 1.27. So 1.27 is equal to the radius squared. How do we undo a square? We take the square root. So I'm going to take the square root of 1.27 and I get, whoops, I did that wrong. Square root of 1.27 and I get 1.13. So the radius is 1.13. That doesn't sound right, but it is because it's such a small number. <laughs> now we, um, so we've gone backwards. We've taken the formula that we know, worked back to the radius. Now we go forward again. We take our volume formula, 4 thirds pi r cubed, and we're going to plug in 1.13. So 4 thirds times pi, 1.13 cubed. So let's take our 1.13 cubit, which is math 3. And then we're going to take that times 4 divided by 3 to account for our 4 thirds. And it's 1.92 with a pi. So just check yours and make sure that's what you're getting for your volume formula. Okay.